black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Well, well, well. What up, world? Back with another one. Uh, today, I don't really know. <laughs> well, I do know. Open face. My grandma used to make them for me. Um, she used to do cheese and bacon. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have any bacon. I just had some leftover hot diggity dogs in the freezer. I figured, let me rummage through. Let me see what I can do with limited ingredients. Now, this is very childish, but delicious. You know what I mean? It's a very grade five, um, yet I love it as an adult. So, I mean, how, how can you? You got the classic Wonder Bread toasted up nice. You got some hot dogs. You got the most processed cheese in the world. And then you got other just flavor poppers. So, as you can see, I did two with sour cream and salsa because I love sour cream and salsa on my eggs. And then one with the old ketchup squirt and one with just a nice dousing of Frank because hot sauce and eggs are key. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's get into a bite. Let's see if the yolks are still going to break up nice for me or if they've completely cooked. I don't know. Some of y'all get mad at this, but I just, I love up close cams. So, just take that in. Okay, you know what I mean? I'm going to come down the center, diagonal, to see if we can get some yolk going. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perf, baby, perf. Ooh, a little too perfect. Tell me that that's not a thing in your life. You guys, once again, I'm honestly just so excited about this yolk situation that I just, I gotta give you the up close cam. Oh, we gotta drip on camera too. Okay. I was gonna do this with fork and cutlery, fork and cutlery, fork and knife, but I'll have this one just like this though. We gotta go a little, a little savage here and there. Mm. The more savage the food, the better, really. That's legit. That yolk is so rich, the cheese is so rich, but then you get the cut of the salsa and everything. So good. So, so good. It's weird. It's like... I know this is like super trashy, hilarious cooking, but you know, this is just, this is the type of stuff that I like the look in the fridge, see what you got. And just, you know, t take it somewhere a little more, a little nice, let's execute on it. Well, And it's delicious. It's my favorite style of making food. Just home based, easy to whip, dirty, delicious trash, you know, that we all know and love. And I was thinking, which I've already started conceptualizing and do want to release. I'm thinking about doing an e-cookbook. Hoodies Goodies is what it will be called, obviously, because it's just like, that's my intro. And it's just the very fitting title, Hoodies Goodies. And... I guess more than recipes, not so much recipes, it's not going to be technical cooking, it's just going to be a, you know, a couple little home sauces you can throw together that are a little outside the norm, mixed with um, some recipes that I've done, some like you know, some cooking that I've done over the years on the channel and then some newer ideas. 
and just basically have pictures and stuff, obviously, but also more explain just like the twist, my little twist on things. Things that you've maybe never tried before, but that aren't that complicated, you know? And things that literally you don't have to be good at cooking for. Like, all you need to do is be able to, like, use a pan and, you know, kind of not even measure stuff. More just like flavor combinations that you've never tried or something like right like that you know what i mean and then also explain a little bit like in in like the how to like the temperature that you should have it at and you know like certain times of, of flipping things and stuff like that something simple so i'm wanting to do that it shouldn't be that difficult to get done. You guys have been kind of asking or saying, like, yo, you should have, like, a little cookbook or whatever. I should, I think. I ran out of ice. It's very disappointing to myself. I'm sorry. I love ice drinks. I hate having to drink it like that. But yeah, I think that would be really cool, to be honest. Let me know in the comments. How many of you would buy a digital copy of Hoodies Goodies? I already have about 10 recipes or I don't even want to call them recipes but 10 concoctions let's call them 10 creations that I would put in the book I'm not how fe I'm not sure how feasible it is to be able to, to be able to do a physical copy, but I gotta look into it. I know ebooks are very quite simple. Also, it's my sister's birthday today, and I posted the other day saying that I wouldn't be eating for the camera. On any of her birthday days, because I was saving my calories for dinner, but I got so guilty about content. That I was like, I gotta make a, I gotta make a video. So this is, it's midday. I'm having this meal. And then I think at her dinner, I'm just gonna grab like a salad. And keep it in check, cause I can't be going this buck wild, cause this is a, it's a bad meal. Sort of. It's definitely like rich and probably pretty calorie dense. But at the same time, it's minimal carbs. Couple hot dogs, cheese and eggs. Four pieces of bread. I guess it's quite a bit, but.
It's damn good though. It is damn good. So yeah, I'll probably keep a chili dinner. Chicken salad. Something like that. Super trashy, but delicious. All right. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're enjoying my content, you could click the bell for the notification. You could hit subscribe, and you could support by hitting the Stay True store and grabbing a Stay True hoodie, T-shirt, or long sleeve. Um, but you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. It's up to you. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.